afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Linda Hallman, the Executive Director for the American Association of University Women. Women. And uh, we are off to a fine start today. Uh, welcome to our new Voices for Pay Equity panel. We're glad you could be here. And my thanks to our wonderful panelists for taking their time to be with us. We're thrilled to have this opportunity to hear some new perspectives and shine a much needed spotlight onto the pay gap. Now some housekeeping notes. We're videotaping this session today. If you want to participate in or during our Q&A session, please be sure to fill out a release form. There are some on the tables and there are some in the back of uh, where you came in and registered. Also, if anyone is live tweeting today, uh, please use the hashtag FairPay, okay, F-A-I-R-P-A-Y. So this is an issue our country struggles with 365 days a year. Although we take special note of it tomorrow, Equal Pay Day is a day to raise awareness. It's a symbol of when women's salaries finally catch up to men's earnings from the previous year. In other words, it takes a woman an average of 16 months to make what a man earns in 12. That can be a little hard to swallow, especially when we've been hearing such good news about women's progress in education. Unfortunately, these educational gains have only had so much impact, and we still face a stubborn pay gap of 77 cents to the dollar. And in 40 years, we've seen the gap close by just 12 cents. Some of you haven't even been alive that long. Most of you haven't been alive that long, looking around the crowd. The lack of change certainly isn't because of a lack of action. Fair pay has been a priority for the American Association of University Women and others for a long time. Half a century ago, we supported a bill requiring equal pay for equal work. Eight years passed before Congress approved a version of that bill, which just goes to show how much time and effort these kinds of things take. So fast forward 50 years or so to another victory, the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act passed. Unfortunately, its sister bill, the Paycheck Fairness Act, did not get approved by Congress, so we've still got a ways to go. AAUW has been in this fight because we've seen that pay inequity affects women and their families. Three years ago, our research helped to put fair pay on the nation's radar. Today, we're working to keep it there by releasing a new handbook simply called The Simple Truth About the Gender Pay Gap. This guide makes a compelling case for pay equity in an easy to use format. And free copies are available in the back and I believe you, it looks like everybody's picked those up. Mm -hmm. 